my previous video, I discussed uh, the premium uh, PZB2, and I must say I did did enjoy the video, making it anyway, and talking about the tank and uh, what it really was uh, for the French army and whatnot. But at this, that's the PZB2. That's a premium. We're going right back to the German tech tree, the normal part of it, and here we have the Panzer 3J. Now, I played this tank when it was just the Panzer 3. No, Al, none of the J variant. No Ausfero J. Just J Panzer 3. I think I'm going to. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the stats and internal components are all the same as uh, just the Panzer 3. They just gave it the J variant. Uh, about the tank itself, uh, it was considered a, a tank on tank tank battle. I know that sounds kind of funny, but it was meant to beat the tank to fight other tanks. Even though tank on tank action isn't supposed to be really meant during wartime. You were supposed to be driving up in a tank onto, a, I don't know, a, a gun, anti-tank gun placement and have the edge, you know? Uh, it's... If you have the advantage, that's what it was meant for, you know? But going against tanks versus tanks, mm, not so much. But still, the Germans viewed this as their go-to tank to fight other tanks. Now, it, it was usually accompanied by Panzer IVs, uh, as an assistance, I would guess. Uh, but this tank was uh, a bit of an eye opener for the German army when they invaded uh, Russia, and out came the T-34s and KV-1s when they started to realize, "Oh shit, we can't shoot through that armor, and if we could, we have to get really, really close to do it, which is not ideal for tank battle." Getting that close, not good. Anyway, that's uh, the Panzer III right there. A brief, a little brief history on it. I mean, uh, so in World of Tanks, what do I think from my time in the Panzer III? Like I said, I haven't played the J, so I, this may have changed. Stats may have been buffed. Stats may have been uh, decreased. I don't know. I haven't been keeping track of this tank specifically. So. Uh, the armor is okay. I mean, it does haul ass r relatively fast. It could be... It's more of a medium tank than a light tank or a heavy tank. And Wargaming has it right with it being a medium tank. It zips around pretty fast. It's, it, it's got a good speed and a somewhat good gun as well. But, again... It's... Okay, I mean you're tier four. You're seeing tier sixes and tier six tanks could blow this thing right out of the water. You're not going to be competing against other medium tanks like Cromwell's goddamn Cromwell's at all in this thing. The Cromwell will decimate you in no time flat and with utter ease. It's I don't know. It's in a strange placement, if I must say. It's. It can be used as a scout tank hiding in a bush. It can also support. It can be a distraction tank. I mean, but that's pretty much it. I, I really can't say good or bad. I mean, it's got it's an iconic tank of World War II. Let's not forget that. It, it had a huge impact on the war, and um, it's oh, it's it's okay. I think that's the best thing I can say. It's okay. At least the way I was playing it, it was okay. At least to my standards of, uh, uh to a new person, to a, a casual player, it's okay. It's, it's not going to be making some amazing, uh, team winning kills or something like that, you know? You're not going to win the match, you know? It, it's, it's not that way. I mean, it, you could win them an entire match. It's not gonna... If you have to fight someone and shoot them from behind and have one more hit, you're gonna win the match, obviously, but you're not gonna team carry, is what I'm trying to say. You're not gonna sit there and fight off five, six people in this thing. It, it's just not gonna happen. Uh, equip
equipment, I would, since the tank is a medium, maybe a gun laying drive, a gun rammer, uh, vents, absolutely a must. Almost every tank I would put vents on that can take vents. It's just because vents are such a huge benefit. Um, a camo net, ah, you could if you plan on uh, hiding in a bush, sniping maybe, uh, being a passive scout, yes. Binox, yes. Coated optics uh, is not a bad option. I mean, you're driving around a lot and you can pick up a few more targets with a, a better view range and whatnot. But like I said, it is an okay tank. It's not award winning, I'll just put it that way. Uh, some people have fantastic battles. Again, it depends on if you have a good crew in it and if you, the player, are experienced enough to make the tank work. And you know the layout of maps and where to shoot enemy tanks. Like I said, it, any tank can work for you. There are few miners, minor tanks that really are just awful, like the Dershbrush back and the DW2. Good God, cut my wrist now. But, yeah, it's okay. It, it, it can hold its own at Tier 4. It really can. And I think that's what a lot of people are looking for. You know, it's something that can hold its own. But the problem here is, how often do you actually see Tier 4 matches in a Tier 4 tank? It's always, you're Tier 4, congratulations, you're going to be seeing Tier 6 matches now. And it starts at Tier 3. The minute you're Tier 3, congratulations, first match, Tier 5 only map. Match. Good luck, woohoo, time to die. Hate to be negative, but honestly, some of the tanks can't compete that high over them. Uh, and the French are notoriously bad for this. Alright, next tank. What do we have? Ah, uh, yes. Give me a second, try to get the stuff going. The VK-2001D. Uh, a medium tank again, and I'm trying to remember what exactly... How, or how exactly this tank played. Obviously, like a medium, I'm just trying to remember uh, playing it, because I just don't remember playing this tank. Maybe this thing came along... After I started playing and got past the point, maybe. What is the Dershbrush compared to this? Let's see here. There's a DW2. It's right over there, so... I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to remember uh, playing this tank. I obviously played it. It must have been way early, and I have 142 free points on it. Uh, I must have... I must have had, at one point played this and I think uh, honestly I think it was uh, one of those forget me not tanks or for, uh, try not to forget but ultimately do I should say but um, what can I say about it from what I try my vague memories of it um, not much I mean I don't think I did too well in it I I might have to rebuy this tank and give it a shot again, because uh, I just really don't remember playing it, but I know I played it, obviously. I have points on it. Go figure. Huh. Tank's a bit of a stumper here. Alright, now, uh, uh, what would I do with a medium tank? Again, I would put vents on this thing. Um, maybe a gun rammer, gun laying drive. I would not put coated optics. I I mean, it's... What is the speed on this thing? There's engine power, top speed. 50. 50. It seems like it'd be a fairly decent fast speed. 
speedy little tank. I mean, it's no Panzer 1C or light tank, but it looks like it could be okay, but I don't know. I just don't remember playing matches with this, and uh, like I said, it must have been very forgettable. <laughs> but a little bit of uh, information about the name itself. Uh, the VK two thousand one uh, dot one D is uh, a, a little bit of a breakdown on this stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna make this relatively quick. VK stands for I think tracked vehicle or tracked tank or something along that line in German. Uh, now the first two numbers is the weight. This weighed twenty tons. The period, and then followed by the zero one is the make how many makes they have had this would be the first make of this type of tank and then the D stands for the company that actually uh, made it the D standing for Dahmer Benz now there, you'll see this throughout many of the German tank lines there are a lot of VK tanks in this uh, game here let's see here there's the VK, there's a VK over here, there's a VK over here, another VK, another VK, another VK, and uh, a VK all the way up here. Uh, like I said, these, there's another VK here, uh, another one here. There's a whole bunch of VK tanks, and you'll see them, they all have different initials at the end of them. Like here, this one, the VK3001H, H standing for Henschel. Here's P, standing for Porsche. Yes, that Porsche, like the car Porsche. Uh, M, man. D, again, Dahmer Benz. Uh, A, I'll cat, I think it was something along that lines. Here, let me see, it might say it in the vehicle details. Uh... I don't know why I would say Krupp. It might be just Alcat, I think. Anyway, uh, I really don't know what to say to this uh, vehicle itself. I just have no memory of playing the thing. I, which is strange, because yeah, normally I remember matches specifically to certain vehicles. I obviously played the thing. I have points in it, but it must have been one of those god get me out of this tank again I, I would imagine or it was just okay again one of those okay tanks that you can forget about you know relatively quick and um, I don't know what else to say to it I, I wish I could remember how this thing played I just don't I might just rebuy the tank just for memory's sake to see how it played and what it did what its weapons were how it played uh, just to see I mean just for my sanity, I guess.